It is the first time in the history of our nation that the three major power grids, those of Luzon, Visayas, and Mindanao, are now physically connected. The realization of our one nation, one grid aspiration is definitely a crucial turning point for this country in ensuring reliable power at all times. Earlier this month, the Panay Islands started a new year with a total blackout for three days. Parts of Negros Occidental were under rotational power. The power interruption cost 3.8 billion pesos in economic losses in the province of Iloilo alone, notwithstanding the inconvenience that it brought to the people of Western Visayas. We cannot afford to have another round of this costly interruption, not only in Panay Island, but anywhere in the country. So let's move forward with the lessons that we have gained from this blackout. Ensure this massive inconvenience and uh, loss for our people should not occur again. So we look forward to the assurances in the promised completion of the 230 kilovolt Cebu Negros Panay backbone project by March of this year, as well as the commitment that you have made to complete the Hermosa San Jose 500 kilovolt transmission lines next month. I have directed the ERC to complete the reset of NGCP's rate without further delay. I have also directed the Department of Energy and the ERC to look into the proposal of allowing third parties to construct transmission projects at the pace required by the country's power needs as we grow out of the pandemic economy.